Hi everyone, so today I just want to show you how to change the P settings and also unlock extra speed on this brand new second generation Evercross H5 electric scooter. So this scooter actually have a secret speed mode that uh, is not mentioned uh, in most places. So I'm going to tell you then and how to unlock higher speed if you have the lower speed settings and also the P setting as well. As you know, uh, I actually figured out how to change the P settings on this Evercross H5 myself. The old one, I have no problem switching it, but the new one is slightly different. It's more difficult, uh, less user friendly in that case. So as you can see here, I have turned on the scooter. So in order to go to the P setting, you just have to hold down these two buttons, the power button and the M button together. And now you're in the P setting. So on the O uh, H5 is very straightforward. All you have to do is just press the M button and you can uh, toggle on or off for all the settings. So you can switch from zero to one zero, sometimes means off, one means on or switch between these settings. But however, as you can see here, when I press the M button, it doesn't do anything. When I press the power button, it just goes to the next setting. So very frustrating. So how do you do that? So in order to change the P settings, so let's go back to P2 over here. Uh, basically you hold this two again. So what is P2? So I have the menu over here. So as you can see, not sure if you can see clearly, P02 is the mileage unit, kilometers per hour or miles per hour, or also it also affects affects the odometer. So zero means uh, kilometers per hour. If you change to one, it changes to miles or miles per hour. So in order to do that on the new one, you have to hold down the power button for a few seconds. And then now you can press M button. As you can see, now I changed to kilometers per hour. And if I press the power button, it goes back to miles per hour. So the key here is you have to hold the power button for a few seconds before you can change anything. In the old Evercross X5, you don't have to hold down. You just switch uh, it using the M button. So the next setting, um, so you have to go back out uh, because if you press the... Um, if you press the power button again, it will just keep switching between zero and one. So now let's uh, go back to P setting. Now let's go to the next one. So the next one, zero four is sleep time. Well, I don't even care about that. It, it's the same uh, same way you change it. Uh, zero is no sleep. If other numbers, you can change between uh, one to 60 minutes. If you pick 60, that means the uh, uh, it will sleep up to 60 minutes if you don't turn off the uh, scooter. Basically, it just means automatically turn off. P09 is zero start, so another useful function. For non-zero start is zero, for zero start is one. So P09, in order to go there, you just press the power button until you go to 09. Again, you hold the power button for a few seconds. And then you should be able to switch between zero and non-zero. As you can see here, uh, zero is zero start. Uh, and then if you press the power button, one means non-zero start. So I prefer zero starts. That's why I picked that. And then the next one is real-time cruise control. So P16, again, you have to hold these two to go back to the main menu. And then you do it again. You go to P16. And one is... Uh, one is with this, is cruise control on, zero is without this function. So again, you just hold the power button for a few seconds. And then you should be able to switch between zero and one. And I need cruise control, so that's why I pick one. And then you go back out and then you press the P settings again. Um, I think the last setting is P99. P99 is just one key reset, so you long press the mode for 5 to 6 seconds. All settings uh, will be reset to the initial setting of the uh, where, uh, when it first came out of the factory. And there's one more odometer reset. You can read this yourself if you have the manual. So this is how you switch uh, between uh, change the setting and the P setting. So press these two to go back out. And then uh, the another thing I want to tell you is how to unlock extra speed or the full speed mode of 28 miles per hour if you have the slow settings out of the box. So some people, they a lot of people, they ask in the comment section, also in the review, online reviews, they said the 
uh, maximum speed of this scooter is only 15 miles per hour and there's no way they can change it and they are very disappointed some people even return it actually there's a way to get it to 28 miles for mine i already have 28 miles per hour out of the box so i don't have to unlock anything so in order to switch between these two modes so the slow mode some people call it the kids mode so that's not something it's shown on the website at first so there's actually a kids mode that has also has three different speed mode on kids mode and then there's also an adult mode so which is the normal fast mode and there's also three speeds mode for that so in total there's six speeds mode so to toggle between between the uh, kids mode and the non kids mode is you go back to the menu here you just press the M button for five times so uh, it will indicate by this square over here so as you can see on the gear um, uh, gear notification over here there's a square outside of the number right there's, it says three and then there's a square outside of it a white square so you just press this five times and as you can see the square disappeared now no without the square it means you are in kids mode or slow mode so i'm gonna do the speed test for you as you can see max speed is 15 miles per hour for these kids mode and then again even in kids mode there are three speed mode or three gears so if you go to gear one the top speed is only six miles per hour if you go to gear two the top speed is nine miles per hour and if you go to gear three, you get the top speed of 50 miles per hour. This is kids mode for kids or for slow mo or you're, if you're in Europe or something like that. I think it might be the reason why you you need the kids mode or slow mo. And then in order to go back to normal mode or full speed mode, you just press the M button for five more times. Uh, maybe I do it too quick. So not working every single time so now yeah you have to be patient on that just like what i show you and then once the square comes back on that means you are in normal mode or the fast speed mode so again in fast speed mode there's three different gears um in gear one on the fast mode top speed is nine nine miles per hour for gear 2, top speed should be 18 miles per hour. And then on gear 3, you should have at least 27 miles per hour. But like I said, it only shows up to 27. Uh, it's top speed, you know, especially going downhill, you can exceed 27, but it will only still show 27. So this is how you uh, switch between kids mode and non kids mode. You just press the M button for five times and you have to be patient. Sometimes it doesn't work. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.